Hi everybody and welcome to the TensorFlow Developer Summit. I'm Lawrence Moroni and I'm here at the TensorFlow Cafe and it's my great honor to speak with Mustafa Ispir, who just did a talk at the summit on estimators and hiking and lots of different things and you know I was part of the rehearsals for his talk and I could chat with him for hours about this stuff but we've only got a few minutes. So. Sure. <laughs> so it's good so, that we have a couple of minutes. <laughs> so I'd just like to ask about some of the highlights. I mean sure. the, your hiking scenario. Could you tell us about that first? So you know I want to make it an example so that a practitioner can understand or feel how can all of these APIs fit well in the journey of machine learning. And I do like that you think of a machine learning as a journey, not a destination. Yeah, yeah it's a journey. It's a, it's a never-ending journey and it's an exciting journey. And the focus of your talk was really about estimators and about pre-made estimators. Pre-made estimators, Keras, how to combine these two these, uh, things. I think the main line can be summarized as experimenting your ideas with a couple of lines of code. So how can you do that? Experiment with your ideas with only a couple of lines of code. Yeah. I like that. So and one of the things you also shared was just how much estimators are actually used here. In yeah. It's, you know, I personally, I'm surprised too. Like, <laughs> it's how, wow, it's so popular here. And it's, uh, I, I personally have some of the projects uh, to use these estimators and learn from them. And the feedback we got from all of these different use cases, it really helped us. Like, we, we, we see their pain, oh, they are trying to do this, but now this partitioning is not going well, so that's why the training is so slow, so how can we fix it? So we, we saw all those pains. Or like, I, I worked on, the, on a team where we were using machine learning before to improve a product. And at that team, I realized like, experimenting with features is the one of the most important thing. Right. So that's why we all we put all this experience under the APIs. Right. Because one of the things in your talk is you were talking about feature columns. Yes. And proper use of feature columns can yes. help reduce your lines yes. of code. Could, yes. could you give us some examples yes. and talk through that? So yeah, that's the thing I mentioned in that project when I was in there. So like, we always have ideas about features. Oh, I, how can I use this feature? For example, this hiking example. Let's think about hiking example. Oh, I, I can use uh, the zip code of user if they provide in that website, right? So how can I use that? Like, let's make it easy. So that's kind of stuff uh, we worked on. Right. Now, as well as machine learning, we always think of like, the, you can have trees for decisions as well. But yeah. then you introduced this concept of gradient boosted trees. Yeah. Which I want a t-shirt with that on. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's cool, right? Yeah. My other estimator is a gradient boosted tree. Yeah, <laughs> could, could you tell us about them and what sure, they are? Sure. We got a lot of requests, like, and uh, based on the survey, Kego survey, like, it's, it's really popular, these, these trees. trees. For example, it's uh, stable. It's not random. Like it does. Like for one one thing with deep learning, every time you train the, the model, you may get a different model because of the randomness in initialization analysis. But the decision trees are always provide you the same model. So you can. Uh, so there are a bunch of good stuff with that. So we worked hard, create this parameter estimator, so that it should not be difficult for people if they want to experiment with neural network or trees. Okay. But if you, if you don't have pre-made estimator, you need to switch to another pipeline, you need to create another input function. Like, so that's, that's tough. So we are solving that, hopefully. That sounds good. I, I'm looking forward to trying them out. I, it's one of the yeah. things that's it's on my very long to-do list. So it's <laughs> and, but like you say, it just works. Hopefully. So, you know, I think you <laughs> used that phrase several times <laughs> in your talk. So. Yeah, yeah, but I also said, it may be, I mean, you need to experiment with it. So we don't know. <laughs> After the experimentation, you don't know which one really fits well into your problem. So uh, there's a quote from Peter Norvik. Okay. He was saying... Very famous Peter Norvik. Yeah. He's, uh, he's saying machine learning changes our, uh, like, how we look at the engineering. Because normally you build something based on the mathematical rules and you provide that uh, as a solution. But in this case, it's, it's becoming more natural science so you need to experiment to understand and you need to analyze the output based on the statistical thinking. So it is different than like 
but hey, this will work for you, and I'm adding this thing, and it will work for you. No, we cannot say. You need to experiment. Right, okay. So becoming more and more scientific, right? Experiment, yes. evaluate the results, yes. form a hypothesis, yeah. and then yes. test the hypothesis, yes. and then experiment again, yes. right? Yes. So, and uh, switching gears for a second, one of the things that you were also talking about that really intrigued me, and I still need to get my head around, is transfer learning. Yes. Where you can take like the learning from one graph and effectively chop and change it to transfer to another. That's a... Uh, Surprising, right? That is simple and works. So you can like this is the it just works. Yeah, it just <laughs> works. <laughs> and you can take this giant network. So uh, at the first time, I was really surprised too. Like I'm copying all these variables from here to there, and it works. How come? So then I realized that network learns a transformation. Like if you think layer by layer transformation, and and we are leveraging that those transformations. In, in, in my other network. And my other network, because of retraining on top of it, has an advantage of, can decide how can they, how can it uses that transformation or not. Like whether it helps or not, so it can, it, ha, it has a room to decide. That's, that's, that's pretty cool and it's just, the possibilities of like some experts in one area being able to train a model and experts in another area being able to train a different model and then chop and change with transfer. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to also like give a big shout to TF Hub. So they make it one line. Like they, with a one line, you are accessing one of the best uh, model trained in Google. That's, that's so powerful. It almost seems too good to be true. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so, so if I want to take advantage of this and I want things to just work for me, uh, what hopefully. recommendation would you, hopefully, uh, <laughs> what recommendation would you give me to get started? With the transfer learning? Transfer learning, gradient boosted trees, estimators, all of these things. So we are putting uh, examples under, we call it model garden or official models okay. examples uh, at GitHub, in GitHub. So you can start with those examples because an example as data and uh, some training parameters. So when you start with that example, then you can put your own data into it slow by slow. So I think starting with an example is the best way to. So take a look at those in the models garden. You call yes, it? I like that. Yeah, <laughs> we, but outside is I think they call official models or something. Uh, <laughs> we should change the name. Yeah, <laughs> gardens better. Models garden is so much nicer. <laughs> and you can have some gradient boosted trees in your garden. Yes, and we are, uh, it's not out there yet the example, but we are adding the example there. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Mustafa. This has been thank a whole you. lot of thank fun. Thank you, Lars. Thank you. Um, it's fun to talk with you. I want to have more hours to do this but we'll, 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 talk about. we'll maybe do more videos. <laughs> yeah. so. <laughs> so. And thanks everybody for watching this episode. If you have any questions for me or if you have any questions for, for Mustafa, please just leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.